Hello, everybody. I'm JJ. I'm Jam. I'm Doc. I'm Jake. And I'm Jamie. And welcome to It's Time Red Cows Discussion. discussion. Today is going to be a special episode because we're going to be celebrating our dad's birthday. birthday. Happy birthday, dad. Happy birthday. We want to dedicate this episode to you and everything that you've done for us. And we just want to honor you today. Right. So, guys, what are, wait, describe dad. What are some traits that you see within that? Or some of, some of the traits that really stick out, that stand out? So okay. Let's try youngest to oldest. Yeah, well, for me, dad is, what I see in dad is that he's very hardworking. If nobody can do their chores, then dad would just do it himself. Even the plants and chickens, like, even though it's somebody else's chore, he would still do it anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And who's, who's the one taking care of, who's supposed to be taking care of the plants, Jamie? Yeah. No. You. No. You. No. You. You. Yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, he did. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. I don't want to know. That's fine because that's that hard work, King. Yeah, that's what dad was not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was when dad was among the problems, though. We mm -hmm. couldn't take care of the plants, so we just asked him to do it. Okay. Me, I noticed that dad is very. Waffle. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Uh -huh. How about you? Hmm. I would say he's very responsible. Mm -hmm. Like when he's driving, he's very considerate of uh, his surroundings. He's always careful. Mm -hmm. When he's driving, he feels safe. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Even if he's driving at zoom zoom speeds, it doesn't feel like a reckless driver kind of thing. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, just, you can sleep in the car, no worries. If you're yeah. in another person's car, you're just whoa, whoa, and then whoosh, whoa. <laughs> Whatever dad needs to do, he just does it. He does not procrastinate or anything. He just does he it. Just, yeah, you can learn a thing or two from him. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I procrastinate all the time. Dad is very attentive and he's patient and he's gentle. Dad's a very <laughs> soft dad man. Kind. Yeah, dad, 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 yeah. Dad, dad, <laughs> dad is a gentle man. man. Yeah. Dad, that's one Bible verse all over again. Yeah. 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 We, we said to this about dad yeah. for Father's yeah. Day. Dad is patient. <laughs> dad, dad is kind. kind. He does not envy. Dad does <laughs> not boast. <laughs> anyway, anyway um, for me, uh, the straight that sticks out his dad is very diligent. If he starts something, he finishes it. With his book, his uh, first book, um, he was able to complete it. And he was able to even do it before me. And I'm like, huh, I was able to write a book, but I wasn't able to finish it. But dad, he just powered on through it. And uh, I'm like, I'm mm -hmm. astonished with dad's, like how he does things. It's very straightforward from start to finish. So that's the thing that I find most interesting about him. So what are, now that we covered some of dad's traits, what are some of those traits that you see within yourself? Or what are some traits that you got from dad? Uh, my, some, you, okay. you all ah, some traits I got from my dad is his kindness and his independence. Independence? Yeah. Interesting. Funny you should say that, Jamie. Yeah. What? You think I'm not kind? You think I'm not independent? I mean, yeah, like, independent! Right. Jamie, yeah, go to 7 Eleven! Jamie, Jamie, go to 7 Eleven and buy an ice cream. You sacrifice us for ice cream. No? Yeah, you will. I mean, unless we're dead. <laughs> okay, yeah. Alright, so Jamie is uh, independent kind. and kind. Yeah, kind. What do you, Jake? For me, I think I got his good looks and his, uh, his sense of hygiene because I always. Oh! Uh, oh! So uh, like, you said you got his hygiene, huh? Actually, uh, that is real. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got his hygiene. It's yeah. so true. So true. Okay, all jokes aside, I think I got his humor. I always seem to be the goofy guy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I also, I also know that I also know some cool dance moves. Yeah. 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 You, you're like that. Hey, you know, you, 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 your, your dance moves are. No, they're weird. Like everyone just despises me when I dance. Okay, not dance. Yeah, that's how you dance. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Everyone's like these stiff movements. And it's it's true. It is true though. I mean, compared to Jake, Jake's just flowy with the way he does weird stuff. Yeah. Like in a clown way. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. So for me, uh, the hardworking. Yeah. yeah. The, hard, the hardworking when it comes to stuff that you like want to do. Yeah. yeah. When, when it comes to okay for me, tools. I'm hardworking well. and even yeah. in the things that I don't want to do. Say for example, the laundry. Okay, no, I also have brain passion. There you go. That's also brain one thing, right? Because dad brain also brain writes. Uh, dad has a book, right? <laughs> he finishes it. He finishes it from start to end. I guess. Yeah, because yeah, he I should, to I guess he, just, I he also, had a goal. He yeah, he had a goal. goal. I also have a goal of doing writing. laundry. <laughs> it's not a career I want. Imagine, oh, I want to do laundry for people. No, yeah, but still, it. you're talking about dad's diligence, right? But that's diligent for even stuff that he doesn't okay. want to do. Okay. Okay. Exactly. I guess I don't have his diligence. But... Oh, but you have you some do, of it. You do, you do, so, but just but not in regards to my passion. So like yeah, this. because that because with dad, he the reason why he can do stuff that even though he doesn't enjoy it is burning passion is not towards the thing he's doing; it's towards helping the family. Mm-hmm. Yes. And it's towards getting the thing done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's actually what I wanted too. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you got that from dad. Uh-huh. How about you, Jim? I just said hard work and even in the things that I don't want to do, like the laundry. <laughs> <laughs> but I really, I really don't like the laundry. Yes, you don't like the laundry. None of us really like the laundry. And yet, who's doing it in the house? <laughs> me. <laughs> no, me. And you have to do it over. No, I think uh, that's why it's called a chore. We don't yes. need to like, yeah, go and have to like it. Share the responsibility. Yeah, we all have. Yeah. Duty. Hey, feed the chicken. I, I'd rather feed the Otherwise, chicken. Several times a day, then do the laundry. But then the chicken still eat several times a day. I know, but if, if that was something, if, if I was not, <laughs> if I'm doing the laundry several times a day, I could swap it with the chicken. The chicken is oh. not. Oh, no, 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 that's a trait that you got from dad. You you like you like animals. You oh, like yeah? play with animals. Yeah, that's that's why that's why I enjoy that more because animals. I always yeah. enjoy a chicken and just yeah, eating Jack has happy. Shirts. And the dogs. Too. Even yeah. if it's a doggy, you're not afraid of touching it. You want yeah. To play with it. Jack yeah. has an affinity for being with animals. Yes. Yeah. I only have I only like animals and they're not. Stinky. Dirty? <laughs> no, I'm okay if they're dirty, but just as long as they're not stinky. All right, so Jake would uh, hire someone to take care of his pet for him, yeah. most likely, like a pet groomer, something like okay. that. Okay. But for me, I, by the way, I forgot to mention some traits because um, Dad is honestly the head of the house, and he's the one who really takes care of us, right? He's the one that always watches over us, even though we don't, uh, we don't know or realize what's missing. He takes care of it. So that's the quiet guy who gets everything done. I'm not sure if there is a word to describe really honestly how dad is, but I, uh, on, I honor and thank dad for doing that. And even though that's not who I am yet, that's the person that I want to be because Dad is very reliable. Okay, yes, there, there you that's go. A yeah, Dad is very reliable. If you don't say it, Dad will still do it anyways. Mm. Right. So yeah. that's what I want to do, and uh, hopefully I'm getting there. Obviously not as uh, much as Dad is doing, but I really want to get there. Right. So now that we describe Dad properly, what are some of the ways that Dad has disciplined us or helped us become the way that we are today? So how did he change us? Yeah, yeah. discipline yeah. us. Yeah. How did he raise us? He raised us good. He raised us good. How did he raise us good? All right, so because the way that the dad raised us uh, for me is he... Well, that is for me, you understand me. Yeah, well, yeah. maybe while they're still thinking about so it, because... All this young is the same. Yeah, yeah, all the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because for me, the way that dad raised us, or the way that he disciplined us, is he did it preemptively though so he would teach us stuff um and how to do it properly and then yes. if we don't do it properly then that's when he would be upset and then he would get angry with us and the reasoning for that is he as he says i already taught you how to do this and we're like oh okay so when dad teaches yeah. us right. how to do it already he expects us to learn it uh, already from the get go, because he expects us to have critical thinking. So that's the way yeah. that dad disciplines us. He already teaches us everything that we need to know. Mm-hmm. How did, how did, how, uh, what are the other ways that dad has raised us or disciplined us, guys? Well, I, well, I only observed the way he disciplined you guys, but I don't remember that disciplined <laughs> being with the me. Same. The same? <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. Dad never disciplined me the way he disciplined you. Oh, <laughs> oh my 
my god, yeah. Yeah, your, 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 your yeah. powers are not really visible in the house. No, even it's not like my children no. are visible. Even even before even be, way before I didn't have a job and I wasn't going to school, I had my chores in the house. Yes. And I did them. And dad didn't have to dad didn't need to tell me to do anything. I just didn't have to. Well, that's favoritism right there. Exactly. <laughs> there's, yeah. there's nothing to discipline in the first place. <laughs> well, I did everything routinely. Dad gets along with you and, most easily, though. Yeah, because I, don't, <laughs> I know how to do my things. Even when you're young, when still. Yeah, I think I don't think that uh, Dad has discipline the two of them. I think for uh, girls. Dad, that, that, that is for dad. That is for Yeah, that's that's, that's angels. That's little angels. So I guess yeah. for yeah, us, that he has to whip us into shape. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> go. He can't. You can't. You can't whip these two into shape. Yeah. 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 If, if you're the apple of dad's eyes, then Jamie is orange. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more the lemon. Dad's gonna squeeze us. So he can make lemonade. Yeah. He's gonna squeeze us. And right what do you do with the lemonade? You sell it. <laughs> yeah, I guess because uh, you're men. Yeah. You, yeah. You're so men. yeah. So, so I guess. Uh, he wants you to be the perfect. Husbands for your wife. Yeah, we gotta so be good people. Hmm? No, Jack. Jack's a second. Okay. Sec is so he disciplines us. He expects us to have uh, what he said, critical thinking, because it's going to be very beneficial to our futures. And like, because thing. we're going to be husbands soon, uh, right? What's happening? What's happening, bro? What's happening? Girlfriend? You got girlfriend? So, how, okay, what is the span between? Soon! It's five years, right? So, at the age of 23. You can get married at 23! Okay, okay! Fine, fine! 30! Okay, okay, not. 30! Later! Yeah, you can't predict. Later! Later! Yeah, I know, I know. Maybe, maybe. Then we're gonna go with. Later. Really? Yeah. That's a more, that's a more appropriate term. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> uh, okay, so as uh, he expects us to have critical thinking and to be very intelligent and responsible, like him as husbands. He's. I know he's. I want even as an independent person. As even as an independent person, he expects us to be very responsible very for the people around us. And I don't. He, Actually has more life conversations with us. Oh yeah. More than the yeah. Disciplinary conversations. Yeah. Or yeah. 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 Have you noticed the difference between dad and um, dad and mom? Uh, mom, mom is the yeah. Mom, mom's mom the, is the, the mom, <laughs> Yeah. She, she's the she's more the disciplinarian. Well, dad is the one that sits us down and he tells stories. He says, I remember. Well, that's the professor, mom in general. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dad, dad, no, no. no because. Because dad tells stories from years young. He said, you know, when I was young, I did I this, did it, I, I did, did that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And mom says, do your chore right now. Yeah. Yeah. That, if that, if it's an order. <laughs> if that's the, if that's Comforting the, one. If that's yeah. the manual lemon squeezer, mom's the factory. <laughs> chop, chop, and then chop. Squeeze into the metal clock. <laughs> but it gets the job done. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because that's the one. Because, yeah, because uh, I think that starts with that. When mm -hmm. when the father shows care for the mom, I think that's what uh, the kid mostly sees. It's very easy to compare. It's very easy to compare mom and dad to other people because we yeah, see. No, we don't, yeah. we don't even need to compare. We know. Yeah. We know. No, because because the more. Uh, the more online we are, we get to see like, oh, another Not fail. Not even online, when we have conversations with other people. Yeah, they're like, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm having fights with my wife, I'm having fights no. with my husband. No. Yeah. And uh, it's like, oh, the marriage is like, go and the, the kid, and yeah. Kids. You can see it from the, uh, the kids' behavior. Yeah, the kids, yeah. the kids, they tell us about their parents. And they're, it, it's, very, it's very sad to hear 
uh, especially some of their stories. So, but the way that dad did our family, the way that he... He was uh, very hands-on. Yeah. Very hands-on. He was very yeah. present in our mm-hmm. lives. He made sure that we yeah. were raised well. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. However, I guess, uh, how Matt is dad? As a husband. Okay. Okay, yeah. as a husband, not a father. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Dad is very respectful dad. of yeah. women. Yes. 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 Okay, that's... The bar is in hell today. Yeah, Basically. yeah. It's the like bar is the bar is so is so. Okay, you know what? Dad is more than uh, dad is a great husband. He's more, he's, he's not just great. He's amazing. Yeah, yeah. outstanding. He's amazing. He's outstanding. outstanding. Not just yeah, you know. Oh, okay, let's not let's not let's not talk. Of, let's not compare dad with, with other men. Yeah. Let's describe dad as he is. As, yeah, as he is. Oh yeah. Um, okay. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay, dad is very loving. He's sweet to you, and he's not afraid to show his affection. He's not ashamed yeah. of his love. He's a mo- very humorous. Dad is very devoted to you, and no. he doesn't uh, he doesn't sway uh, he doesn't sway his uh, what do you call it his and he's not afraid. emotions. He's not afraid of being seen as under what is what yeah. is it, under the under the saya. Because he's not. Yeah, he's, he's not. not. And but the dad, okay. he does. Uh, some people might think that he's he might be under the sun. Like but you know that he is yeah. not. Yeah. Right? Because in the in the here in the family, who is you know, we consider him as our leader really. Uh-huh. Like we rely too much on him. He's really the head of the house. But in you know, with other people it might seem to them that he might be under the sun because he would carry my bag and he would carry everybody and else's bags. And uh, <laughs> I'm the more talkative one and daddy is just silent. But you know here in the house is really the king. Right? Yeah. We, yeah. we all respect him and, and I, I think it's uh it's how it should be in every house. Okay, yeah, because the way that I see it, dad loves mom so much that he would do anything for her and he doesn't care what anyone else thinks about him because yeah, so he's that devoted to mom. Yeah, the only thing that matters is his relationship with mom and the, the entire family's Yeah, mom. like it doesn't matter if someone says that, oh, you're you're carrying your wife's bag, it looks girly in you. And that's mm-hmm. like, it's like, oh, oh, as long as I'm carrying it for mom and then she doesn't get tired and he's very happy. That's yeah, his yeah, happiness. Yeah. He puts mom first ahead of his, or does he, yeah, yeah, his own yeah. happiness. Not yeah. happiness. He's happy to carry yeah. mom's bag. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's because no, means, okay, he, because he laughs whenever he carries mom's like, What are you keeping it here? <laughs> yeah, because yeah. the way that some people are nowadays, they put their ego instead. Yeah, first. yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Especially men people yeah. are so hurt nowadays. Exactly. Come so on. they don't want to. They would not want to be seen carrying a bag because it look, makes them look girly. I'm like, but you're you're yeah, you're. Exactly. It's heavy, yeah, and your I girlfriend know. is going to be carrying that, and it's very heavy. I, I'll I'll just yeah, carry it. Carrying the baby, and she's carrying her bag. So well. come on, man. Mm, that's a. Uh, yeah, that's the yeah. classic yeah. example of a gentleman, like an honest to goodness gentleman, mm-hmm. not the gentleman we see nowadays. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> good guys. <laughs> We're nice guys. guys, nice yes. guys. But dad's like that. He's really loving, especially to mom. Mm-hmm. And he's a one in a million husband uh-huh. out there. Billion. There's honestly no one else that we could have, uh, no one else better to have than dad. Yeah. So do you have a special message for dad now that he's celebrating his birthday? Happy birthday, Dad! Happy birthday, Dad! That's not special. I was going to say something else, and he interrupted me no, saying it's not special. Okay. All right. Happy birthday, Dad. I love you so much. Thank you so much for being with me um, and raising me up to be the way that I am. I know that I haven't gotten there yet, the way that, um, the way that I thought that I would. But with your guidance, and especially with the way that you always teach me to become better and the talks that we have, the quiet conversations that we have, like just, just the two of us when we're in the car or when we're walking and um, we're do- having a father-son moment, it's really nice. And I hope that we get to do that more because I like spending time with you, Dad. So thank mm-hmm. you very much. Happy birthday, Dad. Happy birthday. So, so, you want to go first? What? You want to go first? Let me just say happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday.
birthday, Dad. Thank you so much for being there for me. I I feel so grateful every time you pick us up because I know that not every not all children have that luxury of seeing their golden chariot waiting for them at the golden gates of the of the school. <laughs> like even even when even when you're tired, you know that it's that you, you always prioritize our safety above your comfort like every single time yeah. and i i aspire to be as responsible as you one day happy birthday dad thank you for always caring about us not um i i didn't have time to take my birthday take, okay. that's okay go okay, okay. I'll think go of your message you. first happy birthday dad thank you for being the goofiest goober in the world yeah. <laughs> you're always so funny and humorous whenever you tell us all your funny jokes <laughs> the way you dance of course you try to make people laugh and you, all the actions that you do you want to see people smile and uh, even the even the way you just be yourself is just makes people smile like when you listen to country music and you're singing mm -hmm. and out of tune your voice <laughs> cracks you talk about that that's a great <laughs> Yeah, that's, I mean, that, that, you're a good, of course, that's a great singer. <laughs> You'd be really good at singing country songs, like no one would be brave enough to sing like that. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it, it rubs off on us. Yeah. yeah. It really does. We learned a thing or two from dad. Yeah, the way that dad's so goofy, it rubs off on us, and now we act random too. Yeah. And we right. make random jokes. We, we all, actually, we all make random jokes. Yeah, yeah. That always. I'd like to thank dad. Thank you, dad, for always for raising us to be very good children, to be always caring for one another, to be very responsible, hardworking, and always happy. I'm so grateful that you made us a very happy family. Yeah. Happy birthday, Dad! Thank you for raising us well, and thank you for always sharing your your stories when we are like with your friends and lots of problems, and especially telling me about Lola and Lola's history and their family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So thank you, Dad, so much for always being there for us. Uh, we all love you, and we honestly hope that we get to spend more time with you. And we get to hear more of your stories because that that's one of the things that we really love the most is mm -hmm. to spend time with you. So thank you so much, Dad. And I really wish you a happy birthday. Let's all wish him a happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday.